Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and we're jumping into another phony NES game today. At the western edge of a fallen world lies a cliffside village. Harboring the last survivors of the human race, those who chose exile over death. Okay. They train day and night, confined to their hideout, their legacy cursed, survival their sole purpose. Legend warns of the demon army bound to strike again, eager to completely eradicate humans. Demons are always up to no good. You never see a good demon. Fortunately, Legend also sells a hero flying in from the Western Ocean to bring protection and knowledge. On a day that begins like so many others, a young ninja is about to be visited by the Western Hero. Am I the hero or the young ninja? And sent on a perilous journey into the merciless world to carry a scroll paramount to the clan survival. Wait, so a hero flew in, gave me a scroll. Now I'm the guy who has to carry... What? Why didn't the hero do it? <laughs> so confused. So many questions. This is The Messenger, uh, a darling indie game. Uh, very highly regarded. Uh, that uh, is basically an indie version of Ninja Gaiden. Um, at least I think so. Pretty sure it's Ninja Gaiden. Uh, but yeah, it's it's sort of a, a in the same way that you know Shovel Knight is sort of a reimagining of Ducktales, and uh, we played uh, Blood Moon, which is a reimagining of Castlevania. Now we got the Messenger, and as same as last week when we played Blood Blood Moon or Bloodstained, I forget the name now. Honestly, um, I'm really excited to hop into this one. So let's see what's in the options here. Anything good? Um. It's all pretty basic stuff, so let's just go ahead and play The Messenger. New game. These indie games have really gotten the uh, sort of NES uh, um, interface down. And we will be Jason. You know, like Harold's son, or I guess I was going to say Kumar's son. We will be Gaming Jason. It's funny because Jason's an actual name. Anyway, the dawn arises and into the world of phony NES we go. Another day and still no sign of this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, but all we do now is memorize boring prophecies. Demon army this and magic scroll that. Nothing's happening for centuries. Are we still hiding? I wish I could just leave this place and go explore the world. Gather around, everyone. History lesson is about to begin. Oh, great. Another lecture. Uh, I guess I should at least show up this time. <laughs> Probably. So I will say, having just come off of playing uh, Bloodstained last week, which I thought was an amazing sort of NES-style game, this one immediately feels more advanced than an NES game. Like, maybe this could be Super Nintendo. Uh, but the sound, the music sounds very NES-like. And I will say the one thing that immediately stands out to me is incorrect is that the game sprite has too many colors. Even though it's a very limited color palette, the Bloodstain did it right with only like three or four colors at a max. This seems to have like six. It's very minor. Like, it's not going to take away from my enjoyment here today, but all I'm saying is... That Bloodstained game was like a bang-on ringer for a potential NES game. This game, even though it looks retro, even though I am very happy to be playing it, and, and again, it's not it's not knocking the game necessarily, but I was just blown away by how well of an impression the Bloodstained was for an NES game. This is clearly more advanced than NES ever, uh, you know, could could get. Um, so how do we do this? Ah, uh, there we go. We jump and hit and jump and hit. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, huh. I like the uh, the sort of uh, you know close timing parameters that you have to do for this. Look who decided to grace us with their presence. Have you done your reading? I have not. Yeah, ever the rebel. What's the point? All we do is rot in this place anyway. All right, Thread of the Demon. 
Oh shoot, they're attacking already. They have returned! This is all wrong. The Western hero is supposed to save us. Maybe I, the gamer, am the Western hero. You ever think of that? This game could get meta. Let's talk to this guy. Don't go, you are not ready. Thanks for the pep talk, talk buddy. Oh my god, I'm not ready. Look at this. Burn it all, bring the humans to their knees. Not so fast, big boy. Oh, and who might you be? You really all they've got? Pathetic. Prepare to die. That demon looks pretty big. And fat, too. He needs a diet. Also, I like how one of the demons is a crown. Like... <laughs> they all share a body, but one happens to be the king. The rest are sort of along for the ride. Oh no, it is the western hero. He... Or she has finally has arrived. It's hero time, baby. Oh man. Seems luck is with you today. Barma Thazzle. Yes, my king. Keep an eye on this worm. Certainly, my king. Oh, and off he goes. Count your blessings, ninja. My minions will make short work of you in Autumn Hills. Sounds like a mall. Autumn Hills. Come for all your shopping needs. Are you... The Western Hero, something like that. To be honest, I got here way too late. Uh, as you look like the most capable around, here I have a task of the utmost importance. Take this scroll, carry it across the island. You need to reach Glacier's Peak, where three sages will be waiting for you. Why is this scroll important? You'll find answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. Drought of the night will be your only protection to make it through Autumn Hills. As for me, I'm going to take a nap. I had a long griffin ride on the way in, and frankly, I'm beat. Godspeed, messenger. Like, honestly, that hero guy should... He's probably more capable than me to take the message, but, uh... I guess we wouldn't have a game if, uh, I didn't accept. So we will obviously accept. Oh, that is, that is a fun mechanic. What do they call that? Like, shadow walking or something? Cloud walking? I think shadow walking is from uh, Doctor Strange. Or no, that's shadow dreaming. I don't know what I'm talking about. Autumn Hills. Let's go to this mall and kill some demons. So I just got to itch my eye there for a second. Oh yeah. That is quite satisfying. Alright, demon. <laughs> Alright, our first demon was rather pathetic. It's okay, though. Hey, ho, ha, ha. Oh, nice try. Oh, demon, you got me. Two shots, eh? Oh, I can break these. Is there any point to breaking these? Probably not. Other than that, it's cool. Boom. Oh, man, I'm just tearing these demons asunder. Yeah. The music definitely is spot on for NES. Very good NES music. And the gameplay and stuff, like, it doesn't look like insanely not NES. It just looks a little too advanced. A tiny bit too advanced. That's all. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Oh, it's like a shop. Huh. Hello. I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? This is the shop. Doesn't look like a shop. Do I look like a shopkeeper? Anyway, well, what? wait, what does that mean? <laughs> Supporting you on your epic quest to save the world. Um, you got the climbing claws. Press against walls while airborne to stick to them. Sweet. Um, upgrade? We got the upgrade. Oh, here are all the cool upgrades. Okay. So we have 51 crystals. We can do an upgrade. Concealed arms make you more resistant. Okay, so that's one more health. Um, oh. Defense up. Look, this is interesting. The next upgrade, the enemies will sometimes drop health. Makes you more resistant. Checkpoints will now restore hit points. Oh, that's... A lot of that stuff's good. Okay, hold on. What's up? Let's check these trees out here. Uh, tap your mind's... Key charge, allowing you to throw energy shurikens. Oh, that's good, too. 
Sometimes drop by car. Um, okay, early on we probably don't need the health, so let's go with weapons. Sounds good, right? Chat. What do you want to talk about? Okay, I don't want to talk about the climbing clause. See ya! What is this? Please don't touch the cabinet. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is pretty cool. See how the floor appears, like, as you walk over to it. Alright. Oh, look at that! We can climb now. hey -o. Oh, we can jump up the wall. Awesome. There we go. Gotta get all the, uh, the gems that we can. Oh, yo! Oh. Oops, missed that one. Die, ninja. Or demon. Oh, god. Hmm. Oh, in theory, I can... How do I do this? Hold on, how do I... Oh, there we go! Alright. We got a ranged attack. hey -o! Okay, now I only have three, and I've used two of the three needlessly. But maybe... I'm kind of tempted just to see what's over here. The thing about NES games is they did have a lot of secrets. And the thing about these indie games is they usually don't put a pathetic time limit on your games. That was always the the worst sort of universal um, mechanic in all NES games. They all felt the need to have a time limit for some reason. And frankly, it was just un it, it was unnecessary and unwanted. What are these things? So I like that modern indie games have done away with time limits. Also, I've said this before, but a lot of older games sort of have scores. And I think it's honestly mostly a relic of, like, the arcades. But, you know, Mario 1 and Mario 3 and, like, all these classic old games have uh, scores. You know, like a high score. Oh, damn it. Um, but I, I've always talked about in those old games how it's funny, like, most people don't care about scores, except in the really, really old games. Like, if you're talking about, like, you know, Donkey Kong or something like that. You know, people care about scores in the old arcade games, largely because arcade games were more or less infinite, or had... it was really hard to get to the end, so it was like, you just want to know what's the highest score you can get. And we go, oh, we can swim down here. Uh oh. Oh, and now I'm, I'm trapped? Oh, underwater part. That's cool. Cool how they kind of force you to reckon with that because you can't jump out of the water. Um, but yeah, scores. I feel like these days scores are really just like inconsequential to most games. So it's interesting how all these indie games that try and replicate all the NES games typically just forget about scores. They often give you infinite lives, so they get away from the three lives, three continues mechanic that uh, made NES games very hard. Because you'd get really far in the game, then you'd run out of lives and continues, and it's just like, well, game over now. Um, a lot of games get rid of that, give you infinite lives and checkpoints, like any modern game. They get rid of time limits, and they get rid of scores, because frankly, people don't really care about scores. Um, unless you're Billy Mitchell, and you want to fake it for some reason. Because you think having a high score in a video game makes you a better person. That's right, you heard me. I'm calling Billy Mitchell out. Oh, God. I know Billy Mi Mitchell is very litigious, so... God, I hope he doesn't try and sue me. <laughs> Billy, I'm not worth anything. Um... Also, I feel like if Billy Mitchell did try to sue me... I don't know. I feel like I could make a news story out of it. And, like, probably start an Indiegogo, and enough people would support me that I could pay the legal fees. Hopefully, anyway, though. Um, because that would really suck to go out of pocket for, you know, Billy Mitchell of all people. I don't know. If you guys know who Billy Mitchell is, he's, uh, like, was one of the best video game players back in the golden age of gaming. But then he just started faking his scores with emulators. And there's tons of evidence that his, his runs are very obviously fake these days, but he still has defenders. He still has people who will claim up and down that Billy Mitchell has never played on an emulator. And and the sad thing is, is like, 
he was quite good. You know, like you look at his gameplay on real arcade hardware and like he's good. He's good at gaming, but he just sort of tarnished all that and threw away his legacy by needing to cheat. Uh, him and Todd Rogers is more notorious for cheating. That guy is like blatant. That guy had scores that weren't even possible. Um, there's a really good, there's a game where he literally claimed to have, uh, a, like a 5.1 second record, but people these days literally hack the game and looked at the ROM and every line of assembly. And they're like, that's an impossible score. And he still claims he got it. So it's like very obvious cheating. Um, anyway, um, oh, those are very expensive now. I see. So I can save up. Empower your attacks, letting you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off of them. That's probably necessary. And we'll get this too. All right. What are these other things? Press A while being knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Underwater dash. Those are good abilities. Um, okay. Anyway, um, looks, looks good. Uh, leave. I wonder if he'll let us in the, the closet eventually. Never mind, that thing can't be killed. I don't know what these little blue fairy things are, but we will leave them in peace. Hoo -ah. Get out of here. Oh, he's lived. All right, there go all my projectiles. Well, well used. Well spent. Dude, I'm dancing to the music right now. I'm really loving the level design in, in this game. Oh, nice try, you demon dog. Um, I'm really loving the level design that they got going on here. It's good. One interesting thing is that this game actually does have uh, respawning enemies, which is uh, more NES accurate because NES games often had respawning enemies. Um, but when we played Bloodstained last week, I said one kind of more modern thing about that game is it didn't have respawning enemies. You kill enemies and they typically uh, tended not to respawn. Not to say that you you always got respawning enemies in NES. Sometimes you didn't. It was possible to play an NES game that didn't have respawning enemies. Uh, but it was just more common to have them respawn. I think because it was just easier on the game engine. I mean, basically what was happening is you'd have a map of the world and at certain places of the world, you'd have an enemy to be placed. And as you scroll to that point on the screen, they would just spawn the enemy. And if you kill that enemy and then run away and then run back, as you run back to that part of the screen, it reloads that part of the map and it sees that there's supposed to be an enemy there and it spawns them and puts them down there. So that's why you had respawning enemies, if you guys are wondering sort of code-wise why it was there. Um... I do a little bit of amateur coding in the side. Oh God, you guys do not know. Um, in fact, I have my own Battletech fan game that I've been working on for some time now. Um, although I am woefully, woefully behind in working on that. Actually, if anyone here watching uh, tried out my Battletech fan game, um, or if you haven't heard about it, you can find it uh, just, uh, Look at my channel for Battletech games. It's called Battle Mercs. I made a few videos about it, and there's a link and all sorts of stuff. It's also mentioned on Sarna.net, which is a, a Battletech uh, website, so you can check it out there. But yeah, long story short, I worked on the game for like a year in sort of total like secrecy, essentially. Like I hadn't announced it or anything like that. And then uh, finally I decided it was time to announce it, and as soon as I did, my life got crazy busy, and I keep thinking, okay, soon, in the next month, things will clear up, and then I'll be able to just get working on the game again. Hasn't happened. Hasn't happened all summer. All summer I've been saying that, and I don't know when, I don't know when I'm going to have, like, a significant amount of time to go back to working on the game, which is really sad because I want to do a few more things to it. But on the upside, it was very close to being, like, Finish. There's a little secret down here, by the way. I noticed it. Didn't want to say anything, but... Um, whoa! Go oh, no! What happens now? A new customer. 
I think I lost... Strictly speaking, you did, huh? My name's Quarble. Quarble? At your service, I'm the one who never met... Had any skills. The gist of it is, I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. Whenever you're about to die, I will appear and stop everything, teleport you back to the last checkpoint. What's the catch? Well, for one, still feel agonizing pain every single time. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt, my little notepad. So stick around and steal your loot until you... Okay. So he takes a little bit of money when you die. So he probably took like... Oh, shoot. I gotta jump on the higher one. Perfect timing. Okay, I, I understand what you have to do here. You gotta kind of jump on the higher one. And then you're good to go. Let's see what he does now. What is this? Some kind of magic... coin? Oh, hello! So it seems you're one to wander off the beaten path. Was that being green object? Oh, you mean that thing you just smashed instead of collecting? Oops. Uh, it's a power seal. There are many others like this one, but to be honest, I'm really not sure what they do. Until you find them all is optional, but if you're kind of venture that likes to go for the extra challenge, you'll want to keep an eye out for the rooms. May or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. I like the sound of that. Maybe that's what's in the, uh... There's something down here, by the way. Is there any way to attack down? I cannot. Okay. But you guys see the ground down there. I threw a projectile, didn't go through the wall. Okay. Um. Yeah, anyway, so long story short, talking about battle mercs. I will wrap it up at some point, but it's very close to being a totally finished playable game. There was just a couple things I wanted to add, and I just literally, literally haven't had the time in my life to do it. And you may be saying, but Jay, you're playing a video game right now. Couldn't you just not do this and go make Battle Mercs? And it's like, the thing with Battle Mercs is I can't work on it when I just have like an hour at a time. Because what happens is I get obsessed with it. And then I shirk all the other responsibilities in my life. And I don't spend one hour. I spend eight, you know. And that's great for development. It means things can go speedy when I get a, a day. But it also, I'm at a point where I can't shirk those responsibilities, so. Life stuff is going on. If you're a Battlemarks fan, I'm really sorry that I uh, haven't been able to make more progress, but as most indie devs who do it as a hobby and part-time can probably attest, it takes more time than you would think sometimes. And sometimes, you know, you just, you just can't. Oh, yes, that worked. Can't believe that worked. Oh, yeah. Sweet, all right, we won't even kill that guy now. <laughs> hey, yo. Okay, let's go in and see if we can afford an upgrade of some kind. Hey, okay, what's in this chest? It appeared after you smashed your first power seal. Oh, I see. All right. See what we can upgrade. Press A will be knocked back to do an air recovery jump. Eh. I want to save my money up. So, defense up. Incoming damage. What are we, wait, what are we saving for? Because maybe I will just get this. Um, healthy, sleeping, and eating habits. So what is this? Checkpoints will now restore health. All this stuff is health related. I'm gonna go with this. Although, what is this? Oh, reduce cribbles fine. Eh, we're gonna go with this. Now we need 125 and then question mark, question mark. I like that there are upgrades. It does remind me a lot of Shovel Knight that we've got this going on. Ooh, boss time, baby. All right, who are we gonna fight? Who's it gonna be? It's a leaf monster! That's awesome! Oof. Oh, he threw his leaves! Oh, I understand. Ow. Okay. Oh. I understand. Come on, buddy. 
Oh god, he keeps hitting every single time he gets me. Yes. Yes. Okay, then he goes up. Oh, yeah, we made it. Alright, I'm gonna stand here so he doesn't land on me. Oh, nice try. Ah! Old Jay figured out the mechanics, oh god. He's blinking a lot, that means he's- he's hurting. Hurting real bad. Get out of here. This is pretty good boss mechanics, actually. I- they gave me just enough health to try to figure out what was going on before he killed me. But so far we've only had... I was gonna say one death, but we actually died twice at that same part. Which was unfortunate, but, you know. Happens. Oh, that's it! I was expecting sort of like a level over kind of thing. Right, let's go to our checkpoint here. We didn't even get... I feel like they should have given you some gems or something for killing a boss. Like, we can't afford anything cool, even. So, no. I'm poor, what can I say? I'm a poor ninja. What can I jump on here? Can I jump on these things? Can. Oh, hello! Secrets! Oh, there's the money, yes! Alright, I'll take it. Secrets, boys! That's how you play video games. Oh, I love NES games and their secrets. Oh my god! I just fell into the catacombs. Alright. I thought I was dead. Oh, it's like a little, like, Mega Man-style bad guy. Oh, you scared me! I thought you were an undead. What kind of creature are you? You've never seen, a uh, Phobikin? Phobikin, we are a tribe of builders, technically very hardworking. Okay, what's your name? Necro. Necro, so you fear the dead somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic, isn't it? I fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above. Um, anyway, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. He's gonna go repair stuff. Ooh, bats. There we go. Oh, that was a... Sneaky skeleton, man. Tried to prank me. Nice try. The ability to destroy enemy projectiles actually is quite useful. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I should have used that bat to... Oh, no, we can just do this. Yeah! Oh, God. Oh! At least that worked. Oh, yes! More money! <laughs> yeah! Mmm, I can taste the gems! Oh, dog, we got 195 whatevers. Whatever these things are, we got 195 of them. We maxed out, yes. Secrets! Oh, you know what? I forgot enemies respawn in this game. That is actually very useful when you're trying to use them to jump. So, respawning enemies in this game wasn't an arbitrary decision. They are actually useful to the game. Interesting. All right, let's go in here. And we go... Oh, 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 we did it! <laughs> that was sweet. Yeah, the... Uh, every, every game has to have a mechanic, you know? And this one has, like, a sweet mechanic, I feel. A very satisfying, solid mechanic. Oh, you spawned a bunch of bad guys for me, eh? Well, joke's on you, I... ...use bad guys like trampolines. Uh, let's go over here. Gotta get all the gems. 224. Man, we're gonna have all the upgrades in no time. I wonder if there's, like, a whole other screen of upgrades that we'll get access to. Whoa! Oh, this one's... Oh, it's like a Flappy Bird segment. Jump! Oh, God, no! <laughs> Jump! Okay, that, that panicked me for a second. Kill this guy first. And get this. 
can now go in here. All right, dude, I got more money. This, this, this guy has the best life ever. I just run into dungeons, earn tons of gems, and come back and hand them over to him. So I can do an underwater dash by pressing X, and then aerobics warrior. That could be good. Or enemies will sometimes drop health. I'm more resistant and checkpoints restore health. Eh. I want to get this, like, locked thing. We're working our way up to that. You know what? We're going to find a few more secrets and we'll be gemmed to the max. And we'll be able to get all the upgrades. I, I'm not worried about it. That thing. Gotta get every set of gems, no matter... How small it seems. Get out of here, bat. These gems, too. Okay. This part's tricky. Go! Oh, God. Ooh, we found another one of these seals. Go. 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 Can I break these? No, I cannot. Yeah, that was pretty easy. hey -o! Let's smash it. Punch it into a thousand bits. It looks valuable. Let's destroy it. <laughs> oh. That opened up this gate. This part isn't even that hard. I could have just gone through the way I came, but... Nice that they give me the option. Oof. Spikes scare me in video games. What is this? Oh, I can do... Right, the twirl. Oh, that makes swimming so much easier. Ah. Oh, God. Ah. These things... Oh, God. Okay. Just going for it. Oh, God. All right, that was sloppy. Whatever. Oh, the, the swimming torpedo or whatever that you can do makes these swimming parts way easier. Totally worth it. Oh, there we go. Doesn't make them, like, a guaranteed lock, but it makes them a little easier. What's going to happen here? I thought something like that would happen. My gaming instincts. Get out of here. Alright. Your turn. I guess I could have just jumped. I could have done a great leap over this pit. I had to play it safe instead. Do this. Oh, there we go. I, I now I'm thinking back to that uh, part in level one where I saw clearly that there were some bricks in the ground that you could break. I couldn't break them and I'm really wondering like what I was missing. Yay. Ooh. Go, go, go. I imagine those things squish you in one hit. You probably don't want to get squished. Pro tip, getting squished is bad. Oh, God. Okay, thank God the spikes are not a one-hit kill. I thought they would be. Just so I had a bad feeling about them. Let's go, bats. I really wonder what is down there. Why would they put a platform there? And there's something over to the right. You guys see that? Like, hold on, we can grab the ledge, right? And break this. Nope. I'm gonna try one more thing. 
I wonder if this is the kind of game that you come back after you beat it. Yeah, okay. I thought maybe my projectile could do something. You come back after you beat it and you have more abilities and you can lock, unlock even more areas, but... We shall never know. Man, the hitbox on my weapon is actually pretty good. Well, let's get this thing. Oh, that guy's on a platform. Interesting. <laughs> get out of here. It's interesting how if they scroll off screen, the, uh, like, look. Oh, God. Ugh. I was trying to... I, I saw that come. I was trying to avoid it. But the sprites are kind of drawn before the backgrounds. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... Die. Peace. Okay, let's just go over this way. Like when uh, the sprites are scrolling up. Here, watch this guy as he scrolls down. Oh no, it's not gonna do it. It has to scroll up. Whatever, it's a very NES effect. Oh, here, okay. I'm, like just taking hits trying to demonstrate this. Look at the top of the screen. Notice how the sprites are drawn even when the platform fades away off the screen. That's a very NES kind of uh, sprite drawing mechanic. Again, a lot of attention to detail here. I like it. Get out of here. Aha, we got him. Ooh, and there's a secret down there too, I think. Oh no, wait, that's just the way you gotta go. Right in here, and jump down. Ooh, boss time, I think. Here's the boss guy. Sort of. Ah. Die. There we go. Ah, oh, I can't get that one. Oh no! My perfect run. Oh wait, hold on. Oh. Oh. One more. Oh, it doesn't even affect it. <laughs> Damn it. Wait, if I go this way, can I come back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't leave any candles untouched in this house. We touch all the candles. Steal the sweet, precious gems on the inside or whatever. Again, whatever those things are that we're taking. You gonna come fight me? Be a dick about this. I think he wants to be a dick about it. Aha! Oh god! No! Okay, well... Oh, he just comes back to life. There's no point in trying to clear the screen of every enemy. I guess I've realized that. They just come back to life. Ooh. Oh, shoot! I thought spikes weren't a one-hit kill! Oh no. How far back did we go? Get all the big gems that we lost along the way. Hmm. Oh God. No oh God. It's being torpedo. Oh God. Oh. Oh no. So I wonder what this guy actually does. Because in, um... In Shovel Knight when you die, you lose a bunch of the treasure you gained on that level, and it sort of floats where you were left. Uh, it sort of remains where your body was. And you have to get back to that point and get the treasure or you lose it. This one, I don't quite understand. I guess he follows me and any money I collect, he keeps. But did I lose any money? I don't 100% understand. 
I think he's a mechanic that prevents you from farming a level. You could, like, get really far in a level, die, and then go back through the level and get all the gems again. And so it's like you could just keep dying. Like, see, he's getting the gems sometimes. Um, and now he's gone. You could just keep getting gems over and over, and you could come out with more gems than if you hadn't died, you know? Like, I think that's his purpose, to keep you honest. I don't 100% know. Die. Um, put all these guys out. Jump down. Oh, he's back. Get out of here. Okay, so there's no point to fighting some of these guys. You might as well just sort of like, no, oh, run through the level. I mean, they give you the occasional gem, but, like, is it really worth it? <laughs> I didn't even get off the wall to kill that guy. Um, so I think at this point we do have to kill these, like, three wizards or whatever. Sort of a mini-boss fight. Die. Getting pretty good at killing wizards, I'll tell you that. That's what you get being a ninja, the legendary J, son. Oh, hello. Alright, well that was easy. Oh shoot. Oh my god, I can't believe that saved me. It spikes. Okay, how do you do this part? Oh, you just get on the platform and stay ducked. Duh. Wow. Why was I trying to jump on the- I, I made that part way more complicated than it needed to be. I need to take a second when there are spikes to form a plan. Like, right here. My plan is to run and not look back. Oh god, go down! <laughs> those are like those uh, donut platforms in Mario Brothers that you have to stand on and then they wiggle and then they disappear. And most of the time, you don't want them to disappear, but in moments like that, you really do. Oh yeah. I was gonna say, you could probably- I could probably be doing double jumps off guys and do that part way faster, but... Yeah, I'm killing that guy. Aha! Oh, hello. Yeah, come to me. <laughs> See what happens when you teleport in front of a ninja. Never put your face in front of a ninja. It will end badly for you. And your face. Interesting. Oops. Alright. I guess we gotta go back for this and respawn this. There we go. Oh god, Al. Okay. Jump and go. Hmm. Oh, but we're gonna let those candles go, I guess. I guess I've- Oh, no! That was a dirty trick. Dirty trick. You know what? After it happened... I saw that I was gonna get screwed. There we go. That part is not as treacherous as it looks. It feels very perilous because there's a wall out to get you, but it's not too bad. Oh. Let's get the health, I guess. Well, that guy. I gotta start using projectiles more. Really not using them. So I guess this guy just kind of sticks around till he gets his due. Like once he feels you've paid him enough money, he's like, "All right, good enough." Like he seems to have just disappeared. 
We paid him enough. I wonder what the cost of dying is. Is it like 15 rupees or whatever this currency is? We have like 340. Come on, skeleton, let's do this. Let's try and time this correctly. Ha! I was just full health over here. Oh god. Oh, it kind of worked. When, when you're on the same level as the skeletons, they really, like, move it. Oh god. Yeah. Oh no! I guess I can't just use projectiles to kill this guy. Uh-oh. Oh no! Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh god, the f the fire guys are actually a little tricky. Those fireball guys, a little tricky. Be health. No nope. projectiles. No, nope. I need health now. Damn it! Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, what upgrades do you want to sell me? Let's see if there's anything new happening here. What does it say? Still need to smash 43 power seals. I thought there was like six. 43. That's insane. Oh, we can't even unlock this. We're not far enough in the game yet. All right, well. I guess let's get a bit of health. That matters more. Incoming damage of two. Wait, what did I say? Of two or more will be re oh reduced by one. I thought it was reduced to one. I was like, damn, that's an awesome upgrade. Chest piece makes you more resistant. That gives me one more hit point, I guess. And then checkpoints restore health. I don't know which is better. Reducing damage. I guess reducing damage is better. But only if I'm getting hit by things that... Do more than one damage. I don't know. It's a question mark for now. And with this army of undead, everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. Teddy Ruxton to you. We have a visitor. I don't have the time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. Oh, great. Just when you think you get to play with your evil lab. About to remind you who's in charge here. Who's he talking to? His staff? Say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like he did. He's talking to his magical staff. That's pretty funny, actually. The idea that the staff is in control. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, he's tiny! Ahem, who dares enter my life? That's awesome. What a, what a reveal. Is that the messenger? What do we do? Steal the scroll, of course. Good plan. Unga I, I like that he's got a little... So interesting when they actually put a little bit of effort... Oh god, no. Oh god. Oh. Ha-ha! Oh, and he's injured. There we go. That's how you get him. So interesting when they put, like, a little bit of effort into, like, all their bad guys. Um. Oh, God. He's shooting fast. Boom! Oh, ow. Okay, when that happens, you want to stand under the skull. These are really cool boss fights, by the way. Can I just say that? And yeah, it's cool when they put a little bit of effort into all their bad guys. There's like stories and personalities and all sorts of stuff. Yeah, these are great boss mechanics. Oh. Aha. Very satisfying and fun boss fight. Always game for one of those. Oh yeah. Oh, I was sad he didn't do the, the dropping the blobs in the sky again so I could hide under the skull thing properly. My only regret is that that boss didn't have more health. That was a fun boss fight. I really liked that. I don't know how you design boss fights. How do you come up with that, you know? Like, I never could. I, I'd never be able to do that. The evil thing is clearly not working out for us. No matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Any suggestions? I don't know, just something else. Like what? Introspection would be a good start. What has all this brought us, really? 
Ridiculous, I'm sticking to evil. Oh yeah, and how are you gonna accomplish anything if I'm not carrying you? Well, I could... Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Settle in. Carry on, messenger. We promise not to cause the world any more harm. Oh, sweet! He turned into a pseudo-good guy. Good job, buddy. You know what? I appreciate a bad guy who reforms himself. Also, you have a lab. You're some kind of scientist. Probably good things will come out of this. We made peace with the bad guy, guys. You don't see that very often in video games. Normally, you just slaughter everyone indiscriminately. You don't even bother to listen to their backstory. You're just like, you dare oppose me, you're done. Here we go. Ooh, ha. You know, I was recently reading about bamboo. Don't ask me why. But apparently it's like, oh shoot, stronger than, than wood. And it's like water resistant. And it's got like all these properties that normal wood does not. It's very interesting stuff. I just always assumed bamboo was just wood. Which is what it is, right? Like I'm not wrong in thinking it's wood. It is, it is a kind of wood. I don't know, but apparently it has tons of properties different than wood. Because basically, if you buy a 2x4 from Home Depot, slap it behind a wall, and you got a bit of water leaking into your basement, that thing's gonna rot. Trust me, that thing will rot. That's one of the... One of the obligations that has arisen in my life in recent weeks that has just added yet another uh, you know, responsibility to my schedule that I didn't really want. Dealing with water damage in the basement. But yes, normal water leaks. Er, rots. But I guess bamboo does not? Kinda interesting, actually. Makes me wish my house was made of bamboo. Turns out it's not. Sadly. Get these things before we go in the door. Get this one too, why not? Alright. Portal. We're here to buy more stuff. What do you got to sell us? Show us your wares. Damn it! Open this thing up already. I want to be an acrobatic warrior. Um. Okay, so the only- so here's our decision. Oh, a thousand? <laughs> well, that ain't happening anytime soon. We'll buy this one, obviously. 550. So this is the only one we can really buy. Or we can save up for this. Enemies will sometimes drop a globe. Yeah, whatever. Sounds good. You sold me, it was basically the only thing I could afford. It's like when you're a kid and you, uh, you know, walk into 7-Eleven to buy some candy. And if you only have, like, you know, 50 cents, you're kind of at the whims of whatever 7-Eleven happens to want to sell you. You don't really have a lot of say in what goes on. Uh, your projectiles don't... That's annoying when the enemy's projectiles will go through something, but yours won't. Tried to throw a projectile at this guy, but it was blocked by that damn impenetrable bamboo. Good stuff, guys. Build your houses out of bamboo. Trust me, oh god. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, go back and watch my... There was a Castlevania 3 video or something I did. Uh, one of my windows leaked in my basement and caused water damage. I've since found more water damage. I'm just screwed, is basically it. A whole poor basement. Poor, poor basement. And like, not to go on and on about this basement, but we literally just put in new carpet. It was something we saved up for for a couple of years. <laughs> Thousands of dollars. Yeah, that got flooded. Screw me, right guys? Screw me. You know, at the end of the day, you just gotta try and remember it's a first world problem. You got your health. You've... I was gonna say got your youth, but who are we kidding? I don't really have that anymore these days. But you've... You're not elderly, I guess. Um... And, you know, all things considered... I think I live a pretty good life, so... You know... It is what it is. I'll... I'll get through it. Just, uh... You know. It's one of those things that, like, it bums you out when it happens. So, anyway, let's go back to video games here. You guys don't need to hear my life story about my, uh, about my house. Well, that's interesting. You can jump off this thing repeatedly. Interesting. That's going to open up some possibilities, I bet. 
Why are there always some kind of Medusa heads in all games like this? There we go. I guess these are like tiger heads or something, because it's like ninja. Ninja style. Oh my god. Oh! He dodged the attack. Oh! Nice try. Ow. Okay, then he attacks. He's just gone. Wow! Now that was an opponent. Mysterious. And deadly. Oops. Oh, oh. Parkour! Oops. Wait, can we go over this one? I feel like this is- to the right is the obvious way to go, so I kind of want to go left. And... It's over here. Oh god. What is this? Is this like a, just a little bonus area, or...? Oh yeah, it is! Yeah! Infinite gems! Oh, so satisfying. Even looks like there's a way to go up here. Interesting. Look at that! Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I, I swear there must be multiple paths through this game. The hell if I can find them, but they gotta be there. I'm seeing like all sorts of hints. Ah, uh, here we go. That's kind of cool. Oh, you can hit it anytime you want. Oh, die, dude. Die, you die, you die, you die, and you die. die, die. Alright. See what's going on in Gem Town. Look, there's like a squid monster hidden behind this blanket here. Please don't touch the cabinet. What is in that cabinet, man? Come clean. You hiding people in there? Nothing to buy. We're doing too good. We can't afford we're doing too good, we're poor. Somehow it makes sense though. We've bought we bought so many things that we're like ahead of the game almost. Oh god, Al. I wonder how close we are to getting max money because we probably aren't at like max money. Oh god, can't believe that worked out somehow. Oh god, Al. And we're probably not at max money, but we have some money. We're not at min money. I think we've done pretty good money-wise. Oh god, ow. Like, if somebody played this and got the maximum amount of money that were possible- Oh! In this game. How much money would they have, and how does that compare to how much money we have? Are we like, you know, a hundred off, or are we like five hundred off? Oh, ow. Jesus, what, what the- Oh, you have to hit the glowing hearts. I was trying to hit the head. Okay. Wanna go up? Guess I can't. Good fire guys. There you go. Die. Fire guys are truly the worst. Look, this platform's a different color than the others, too. What does that mean? Makes me think there's a secret there that I'm missing. Hello. Oh god. True ninja lifts his own platform. Oh, oh. Yes. Ow. Wait, do I want to keep going up or not? I don't know. If I keep going up, what's up here? Okay, literally not. That's as high as it goes. Never mind. Alright. Guy. Go. Hey, this is the up that I wanted to be at before. We made it. Somehow. Oh, get in there. That suck of the door fell on you and killed you. I don't know if that's possible. I feel like they wouldn't add that mechanic to a modern NES style game, but you never know. The fact that enemies can drop health now actually does, I think. Hey, get back here! 
Hey, where are you going? Oh, he despawned! The hell? You know what, that guy- that guy made it out alive. I have respect for that bad guy. He knew what he was doing. Oops. Spikes. They're like my... If I were Indiana Jones. Oh, shh! Out! They would be my snakes. Jesus. Oh god, yes. Did it. Man. Oh god. Okay, I jumped out of that. Being able to jump out of a hit in the air actually makes a big difference. Oh. Oh god. Okay, just go. Stupid Medusa heads are gonna kill us all, man. Oh. Oh god. Break! Yes, yeah, secret! Oh, God. Oh, no! Come on! I bonked my head on a doorway. Oh, and I'm way back here now? Son of a biatch. Oops. Hey, my gems. You bastard. Let me collect some more gems for you, sir. There you go. Feel good about yourself? Do you? Here's some more gems for ya. Anything else I can do for ya? There we go. Ugh. Hey, when you waste a projectile, killing one of their projectiles. It's so annoying. Alright. There we go. Now let's try and not die in the most stupid way possible. Oh, what the? Glitched me out onto the... Oh my god. Oh, come on! Oh, you have to... <sighs> okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. I don't know why I thought I could ride that platform up. I guess it, that part is harder than it looks. Can't believe they want you to do like 60 of those. That seems excessive. Like maybe it'll go faster near the end, but... This feels like that's too many. Like eight would have been good. Or six, you know? Let's kill this guy. Do this. Come down. And I'm too stubborn to not go for this secret, you know? Oh god. <sighs> Almost died there. How do I want to do this? Just like that, I think. Take the platform out of the equation. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. No! You kidding me? You pranking me right now, game? Oh my god. Well, that one was a freebie for you, devil man. Yeah, 229, they don't take away your gems when you die, but you do have to sort of earn gems to get this devil off your back. He's like the tax man. He comes the calling. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Whatever. Gonna die in one hit to these stupid doors anyway. Okay. Do this. 
in. Okay, that one's easy. Next one. Oh! You know what? Grabbing the walls is screwing me over. I okay, gotta see what I need to do here. I gotta, like, concentrate on this. No. I want to hit it, and it's down, and I just want to go. Yes! Jesus! Okay, that was a lot harder than the other ones. Makes me actually concerned now. Or, uh, whoops. What is this way? Oh, you, okay, forget it. Makes me actually concerned for the other, like, 69 of those things. Hey, can we not have a bunch of weird... Crazy monster heads flying at me. Get out of here, monsters! The platform is riddled with monsters. Get out of here. I'm gonna use my projectiles strategically. Oh, okay, I guess we're just going past those monsters. Oh. Oh, God. Monsters everywhere, man. It's crazy. These monsters sometimes drop health nowadays. They're very uh, healthy monsters. Oh, part of a good balanced diet. Gotta eat some monster meat every now and then. Like a good hamburger. It looks like you can drop down there. I'm gonna try it. I'm just crazy enough to try it. Okay, so this is plus one health. More shurikens. Um, eh, whatever. More shurikens, baby! I'm gonna die anyway. Right, let's see. Oh, it was not death. It was indeed more money. Uh, we probably could have afforded the more health now. You know, the thing that was killing me was not running out of health. It was uh, like one hit kills. So, oh, there was something over there. If I kept going to the right. We could have got it. Another secret missed. Hello. Just carefully. Like a ninja would. Um, but yeah, it was not- it's not dying of health, it's the one hit kills. Spikes and getting squished. And bonking my head. Oh, we just- That was a no boss level. They're like, eh! Don't worry about this one, we got gotcha. you. Like when you go out for dinner and somebody else picks up the check and you weren't expecting it, you're like, whoa, really? A free meal? Pretty sweet. What is this air doing? Oh, hello. You got more stuff to sell me, bro? Did you finally unlock things? That gap is way too wide. There's no way I can make the jump. Reminds me of a story. A long time ago, warriors of the Squirrel Clan invented a way to soar through the skies. Touching on a freedom humans could seldom dream of. They would mistake them for gods. Yeah, whatever. Here's a wingsuit. <laughs> the dialogue in this game is actually pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you double jump... Yeah, when you're in the air... You hold the jump button. I guess they probably had instructions, but, you know, fuck it. We figured- oh god, we figured it out. Oh yeah, wingsuiting it down. That's pretty cool. I, I do like the mechanics in this game so far. I'm a fan. Die, skeleton. I can load up. What is in here? Or nothing. Die. Oh, I see. 
we'll do this, this, then we'll go for it. Down, 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 down. Anything over here? Oh, we'll just smash the hell out of this light for no reason. Ooh. Okay. Slide our way down. Ha! Ah. And just avoid those. Down we go. Oops. Ugh. These fire guys are truly the worst. Oh my god! Look at that thing over there. It's begging to be collected. We're gonna die so many times, but we're gonna do this. I'm not even gonna do this. Okay, I think. Ah, uh, oh, oh God. Okay, this is somewhat stable. Go! Oh, we almost had it. Oh, we have to go all the way back here. Oh shoot! And he's gonna collect all the gems along the way, isn't he? Yeah, he's just taking them all. <sighs> that flying part is like no joke, actually kind of crazy. Probably good training though for us. Ah! Oh, it went through. Oh, I think my projectiles are better now. They go through the enemy projectiles. Yeah, that does actually make them better because I can kill the uh, those guys more easily. Like, uh... Do you have enough money yet, dude? How much of my money do you want? <sighs> what if we go over? Ah. Oh! Just go for it! Yes! Oh, man. Okay, that wasn't the slickest way to do it, but it was a way. Technically, we did it. Okay, over to the right there, or the left there, why did that one not open up? Oh, do I get to- oh, there's gonna be like a little bonus room, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh, they have the courtesy to give you full health. Okay. These devs know what's going on. There we go. Oh! Shoot, oh my god, the projectile saved me. Then I tried to like squirrel suit into the guy. Oh no. I see. Oh. Oh god. This is so dangerous. No, oh, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I cannot believe that sort of kind of worked. What does this do? You just squirrel suit your way back up? All the way to the top, like in case you missed one? We do it again for this thing? Yeah, why not? Yeah! Completionists. Oh, there's one over here that we missed, too. Oh, wait, was there... Hold on, behind that fire guy, was there a path? No, there was not. Okay, we didn't miss anything else. God, I hope there's not fall damage. That was a long fall. Alright, ninjutsu. It does also look like you can go down here. Yes! <laughs> okay, in most video games, pits are like the enemy, but some of these pits... Definitely not. Yeah, Those things are so satisfying. It's like, uh... It's like finding a mineral patch in StarCraft and just eating the whole thing. Like if you're an SCV or a, a drone or a probe or something like that. A normal human obviously wouldn't want to eat a big pile of diamonds or whatever, but if you're an SCV, it's your job, man. SCV, good to go. That's what they would always say. I loved StarCraft back in my high school days. Ugh. High school. What a fun time. I know a lot of people don't aren't crazy about their high school, but uh, I don't know how to get in there. For me, I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, well, parts of it. I mean, obviously, there are parts that I didn't like. Having to go to school, like, eight hours a day really sucked. 
but like, um, especially in, in my last year of high school, I found like a really good friend group and there were parties and, and girls and fun and video games and all sorts of cool stuff. I don't know. I just, I mean, I guess probably like if I had to go back and live a day in my high school life, Definitely, there would be things that aren't as good as now. Like, you have a lot less control of your day and stuff, but... Um, I can still look back on my high, high school days as, uh, nostalgic. There's enough in them that I like, that I look back on them fondly. Die. Oh! Those skeletons! Turns out skeletons are immune to shurikens. Didn't know that. There we go. I'm starting to figure out which pits you can and can't drop down. If I can go back for just a second to show you guys, this pit over here, you cannot drop down. And that one seems obvious, because it sort of has like a, a blue bottom showing you that it's a pit. But other pits where you don't see that, you can totally uh, go down. So it's good to know that, because you'll find lots of secrets in this game. Die. Oh. I'm gonna wait for this one and go like this. I think maybe I like video games so much because they like appeal to my sense of patterns. Or maybe I have like a sense of patterns because of video games. Like these blades we just went through, it's like one you had to go ahead, one you had to go behind. You have to like time everything with the enemies and plan. And like. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, well we screwed that up. Yeah, video games require like a lot of like thinking and planning and planning out spatial relations and stuff. And I don't know, I just kind of stuff gels with how I think. And again, it may be because I played lots of video games back in the day that that's why my brain works that way now. Or it could be that I played video games because that's how my brain worked. Oh god. Die. I'm gonna give you full health. Nice. Okay. Oh, now. Oh, got some health there. Oh, this guy, get out of here. Man, the gem guy is still behind me. Takes his cut. I don't say that much. Go. Ah, uh, too late. I guess you can technically go in front of this one too if you want. But behind also works. Uh, I guess you can go behind this one too. If you're fast enough, you can go in front or behind. It doesn't really make a difference as it turns out. I thought one was you had to go in front and the other behind, but I was wrong. Alright, full health. Oh god. Ugh. Jesus. Hi. Anything over here? No. Oh, how do you get over there to the cloud? We'll never know. Oh, we might have missed out on some gems. Wait, is there a way to climb back up over here? I'm a little. That's about it. Okay, no. You always gotta check every... Oh god! Nook and cranny, guys. Oh god. Oh, I can't believe I dodged all that. Aha! Red in the needle. I'm like concentrating so much I can't really talk. Woo! <laughs> and oh. Ah no. Bah. Stupid skeletons. There we go. Die. <laughs> Indiana Jones them, I don't feel like doing that fight. Alright. Ooh, I can buy the health thing now, I think. Oh, what is this? 
Wingsuit attack. Press X while gliding with the windsuit to attack downward. Um, all right. Or do I want more health? Wait, just, just one more hit. Let's do the wingsuit attack. Having a new mechanic is probably qualitatively better than just being able to, uh, you know, take a little more damage. Oh. Die. Good. We don't need that health right now, so let's save it. Aha! Okay, so the sort of wingsuit attack is just uh, like twirling your blade. I get it. Oh god. Okay. Now we need this. That's why we save these things. Aha! Oh god. Alright. Well, we sort of made it through. A little sloppy, but whatever. These are actually, like, quite long levels, too, I will say. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that was very messy. Yeah. This guy, this guy... Oh, this, uh... I was like, why can't I jump over this pit? Not a pit sense. Ah! Getting better at being a ninja. Bad guys. The lookout. That guy. He was no good. Ah. I'm still not 100% confident with my gliding abilities. Oh god. Like if I glide and attack down. I don't know about that. That downward attack. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to experiment with the attacking down there. Oh god. Backfired so much. Whoa. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about the attacking downward yet. Because. I just need to survive at this point. Jeez, all right. Everyone dead? Is everyone nice and dead? I feel like at that part, I kind of rushed through that pretty quick. I wonder if there was like a secret wall I wasn't paying attention to. Oh, what is in there? Look at all those gems. Oh, yes! <laughs> I could smell this secret a mile away. All right, now we have 350. We can definitely buy that, uh, health upgrade. Oh god. Okay. There we go. Our way through this. I'm just gonna stand here and let the gems come to me for once. Like having a... A secure savings bond. You just stand back and the money comes to you. Done and done. Oh, wizards. Come here. Come and get killed. Um, go here. That. Squirrel suit our way out of trouble. I guess I'm like the Batman now that I have my own squirrel suit. We're 390. We're actually really close to the 500. Makes me wonder. One more hit versus reducing damage. Oh, that's a thousand. Um, I want to save up for a thousand. I'm feeling cocky. We're gonna save our money. We must be getting near the end of the game if we're like almost on the upgrade tree, which actually disappoints me because I kind of wish there was more of the game, but. Maybe there's more upgrades or something, I don't know. Okay, this guy... does not look like a good guy. 
Oh, hello. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, interesting. Ah, we got you, buddy. Oh, now we have to, uh... Fly up and do this, eh? Oh! Oh, God. Get out of there! Jeez. Oh, God. Okay, now we fly up. Okay. All right. Oh, God. Ow. I'm kind of figuring it out. Wonder if I'll have enough time to do anything about it. <sighs> I have one hit left. Can I beat this guy? Oh. He's blinking. Bad news for him. Oh, come on. I was walking away. I really wish I could have beaten that guy. That would have been... ...satisfying. To beat him when you only have one health left. I find with these bosses, the first couple hits I take, I'm just trying to figure them out, you know? Like, I just- I don't even know what to expect. But... This guy has a rhythm to him. None of these bosses are, like, insane either, like... I think what makes a good boss fight... ...is, like... ...interesting mechanics... ...that... You know, with the right amount of dexterity and, uh, you know, maneuverability, a, a good player can overcome. You get off this. Goes down. And then he does this. There we go. Go up again. Oh, yo, squirrel suit, bitch. Let me get off of this. I guess I should be going to the right, because I could, like, enter faster. Oof. That's more complicated. I feel like I'm gonna now do this without taking a single hit. Have I taken a hit yet? Not yet. Yeah! Like, this guy's satisfying, I don't know. Enjoying the boss fights in this game. I need more boss fights in my life. More well-constructed boss- Oh, he tricked me. Oh! Okay. Well, I didn't do it without taking a hit. Oh my god. Here we go. Go, 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 go! This is it! I have a good feeling about this. He's done! Oh no! Oh! He is done. <laughs> I took a hit at the end, stupidly. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh. How about this? Oh. Oh, this is kind of cool. I can actually attack him if he gets close enough. Oh no! I died! Shoot, I should have gone for the projectiles. I don't know why I got sloppy there at the end of one to, like, get him with a melee attack. You know what, if it means I get to fight him again, that's okay. He's a satisfying boss. I think what makes him satisfying is each time I fight him, I feel like I can do a little better, and it's... It is satisfying to do these complex boss fights and just dominate the bosses. Oh god. Okay. Guess he's forgiving in the, this early stage. Jump. Get in there right away. Oh god. Going at him. Okay, so this first phase is pretty easy, actually. Go in. There we go. I like when you can, like, alternate on the inside there. And his, like, left and right fist taking turns trying to come at you. Oh, ow. 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 
Off we go. Alright, you should be dead. Momentarily. There we go. Now we just gotta projectile him. Slash. Slash him. Oh, we, we can actually get him. And get somebody. Oh, God. <laughs> you come near me and get hit, it's your own fault. Oh, there we go. Can keep doing this. Oof. Uh, ha ha, ha ha. Uh, uh. Jeez, it is uh, actually like really hard to hit him with the projectiles. <laughs> So much safer to just do this and have him come up to you, but I think he's too smart for that now. Ah, oh, we got him. Whew. That one's a little scary at the end there. I'll admit my palms are sweaty. Oh, look, is he going to turn good too? Thanks for destroying my golem. Well, you attacked first. What are you talking about? I've been digging through these caverns for centuries. You just randomly engaged? No way. Way. No way. You know what? Fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. Guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. That's pretty funny. This guy was neutral. We had no beef with him. We made the beef. All right, honest mistake. So how do I get out of here? Oh, I'll just the win for you. Good luck on your quest. That is hilarious. Every boss we've fought has either turned out to not want to be evil after all, or <laughs> turns out they're not even... Evil to begin with. Or was it a trick? No, he was legit. Poor guy. Poor bastard. The Quill Shroom Marsh. Man, this video is actually getting a little long. Um, I guess, you know what? We're gonna pause here. And maybe I'll do a part two of The Messenger. I've been having a lot of fun with this game. What do you guys think of The Messenger here? It is another indie game designed after the NES era video games. Um, I think it's great. I've had a lot of fun with it so far. I think I will do a part two at some point and beat it, but let me know in the comments down below if you've been having fun with The Messenger, if it reminds you of old NES times and anything else you want to talk about. And uh, guys, I hope you did have fun here today. If you did, don't forget to like the video. And other than that, we'll catch you in the next one. Till next time, my friends, this is Ninja J saying keep it real, and I will see you soon. Peace!